Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for April 8th. This is for somebody. I don't know who. May or may not be you. This is for the 8th. What do we got for the 8th? King of Pentacles reversed. Three of Swords, Five of Wands. A lot of conflict, a lot of inner conflict, right? Somebody is fighting a battle, battling. Could be a lot of competition going on, a lot of inner strife. Stormy weather, right? It is stormy weather. King of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who's not who's, who's only who's focused on everything but love, focused on their money, focused on their coin. Maybe maybe they're 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 trying to recover financially. Somebody's going through some sort of financial recovery, perhaps. You know, this is kind of a similar story that we've been seeing right along. I mean, the Ten of Swords, that's a, that's a painful, stressful ending, okay? With that Three of Swords, somebody has been through a lot of suffering, right? And there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of tension that is had because of this suffering, right? You know, this is the, the Ten of Coins reverse. is a It's like a dying, a dying dream. So, or a loss of money, a, a huge loss of money, a loss of abundance. You know, th there has been loss of abundance. Some, so there's a loss of uh, comfort in a family situation. There's un there's an uncomfortable family situation here that has played out. You know, and there's been some sort of loss, maybe a huge financial loss. There's definitely some financial strife here. Look at the tens. You know, tens are completion, 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 completion. So we have a we have a cycle that has ended or it is ending. It's like there's been a lot of pain, there's been a lot of suffering, there's been some heartache here. There has. There's been a lot of um, push and pull, there's been a lot of um, strife. And I feel as though somebody has made a decision. I mean, this guy is very decisive. It looks as though somebody is making a decision to um, you know, I think it's let go with these tens. You know, it's, it's time to let go. It, it's, it's time to uh, put effort. You know, this is put effort. Work hard. Work hard on rebuilding, rebuilding their their structure, rebuilding their stability. Somebody has been in a really insecure, unstable situation and probably made some poor financial decisions. They may have uh, overspent some money or, or something like that or didn't manage their money very well and they can't go back, they can't take it back and they're having a hard time getting it back. I feel as though, you know, somebody, you know, may have... Uh, made some poor decisions because of the pain that they were enduring. You know, sometimes people will um, overspend and, and make poor decisions because they're suffering in some way. I feel like somebody has absolutely been suffering with that Three of Swords and that Ten of Swords, and, and I feel like they've really been um, dealing with a lot of tension in their life because of some poor decisions that they have made. But I think now we have somebody that has made a more logical decision to, you know, see things clearly and to, you know, drop something that they have been holding on to. I mean, this is a, 
a heavy weight. Somebody has been carrying a heavy burden, a heavy, heavy, heavy burden. And it's like, it's, it's caused a lot of tension. It's caused a lot of, uh, almost like chaos in their life. I feel like there's some sort of, there's something going on behind the scenes that's been hidden. Somebody's been hiding something. They've been hiding their, their, what they've been carrying. They've been hiding their, the truth. They've been, um, Letting fear, there's definitely, the moon is, is hiding something, plus it's a, it's a card of fear and confusion. So somebody has been letting fear and confusion get in the way of success. And I feel as though somebody has just been overwhelmed, I mean seriously, overwhelmed with responsibility because of some poor decisions that they have made. But... You know, well, the, these are completions. I mean, this is the end of a difficult time. It is. It's the end. I think that somebody is deciding to, you know, this is making the decision. Somebody is deciding to, you know, work a little bit harder, put in more effort to recover from this situation. Somebody's been working really, really, really hard to pick themselves back up after a really painful ending, really painful. I think that they've been, they feel betrayed, they feel deceived, they may feel like, you know, everything they worked for has been taken away from them, but basically, I mean, this this has all happened, you know, at, at their own accord. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to complete, you know, this is a completion, it is, 10, 10, 10, it's a completion, it's the end, it's the end of what was, they're making the decision that, you know, it's it's time to let this go, it's time to stand up, it's time to begin again, it's time to put in effort in the future, it's time to stop going back and forth, we've had somebody here that's been going back and forth with the decisions that they've made, and then I think we, we I have I have a completion here, a big one. Um, it's the end. It is the end. It's the end of what was. And I think that somebody has come to their senses, per se. I mean, the King of Swords is a man or anybody that has, is deciding to, you know... Look at things from a new perspective. Take back their power. Be in control. Somebody is trying to regain control of a significant loss in their life that has caused them to, it looks like go backwards, it's caused an overwhelming burden, and it's like it's caused a lot of tension, and I feel like the worst is over, the worst is over. I feel like we have a release, I mean this is a release of anxiety, the nine of swords reversed, it's like a release of guilt, somebody has been feeling guilty. You know, there's been a lot of anguish, there's been a lot of sadness, there's been a lot of despair, but I feel like somebody is deciding, I'm going to put it right here, is deciding that, you know, it's, it's time to let this go, it's time to release the guilt, it's time to, you know, bring closure to a situation. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody may have an opportunity to work together with somebody that really has a lot to offer. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles is very devoted. She's very nurturing. She's very loyal. She has a great big golden opportunity in her hand, okay? She is, um, she's so nurturing. I mean, she's, she's like the Earth Mother. She is, she's very caring, um, devoted, responsible, disciplined. You know, I feel as though somebody is
starting to see the reality because this is seeing the reality because she's very grounded. I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to let go of the pain and put in effort with this person who really has a lot to offer. We have Pisces, we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here as well. I mean, this is like, I mean, there's an opportunity for two people to come together that, that are absolutely perfect for together, together. This is a perfect match. It is. But we have one of these people who may be letting ego and fear get in the way. This person has been focused on everything but love. There's really no love here because of the poor decisions that they have made in the past. Or they've been through a very significant, um, painful separation that has cost them a lot of money. That could be the case. And it's like they're really thinking, they keep thinking about, or they keep going back to the mistakes that they have made. Or they keep going back to what happened. You know, and they're needing to just walk away and, and, and not look back. Somebody's been taking a lot of time to fix their home or to work on their home or to bring structure back to their life. We have somebody here that has been through some sort of financial mess and they're rebuilding it. It's like they're working hard to rebuild their home base. They're wake, working hard to rebuild their stability, their security, their bank account, the whole nine yards. Somebody has been through a very painful, stormy situation that has really caused a lot of tension and conflict in their life and it's been overwhelming. And now it's like, it's, it's, it's so heavy. It's so heavy to carry. I think we have somebody that's made the decision that it's time to release this. It's time to let it go. It's time to, you know, face their fears, whatever their fears are. You know, I think there's some sort of, uh, There's so, they're hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. You know, that moon is, is, is hiding something. So I think something is coming to light. It's like they, maybe, maybe they just <laughs> decide to look at things differently. Because uh, that is very decisive. Decide to let go of their fears let go of the thing let go of their fears because this is fears and this is letting go somebody's deciding to let go of their fears and let go of this or trying to let go of this pain you know because there's such a you know this is a big opportunity here it's huge it's huge so i think there's a huge opportunity to work together with somebody that you know could help you to heal so I feel like there's there's two people. This is divine timing. The time is now. This is it, there's an opportunity to come together with somebody that is, you know, it's a blessing. This is a true blessing. I feel as though we have a somebody here that is about to make a decision, and it's a firm decision. It's a decision to you know drop the burdens and the guilt and the fear that has been holding them back from taking the lead. I, you know, I really, you know, it looks to me like we have a, I mean, this is the emperor. This is the emperor. This is somebody that is, has made a decision to allow, you know, This is a card of transition. Somebody is 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 like transitioning from a phase, a phase of pain to peace. It's like letting go of the pain and bringing in and feeling peace and harmony. 
deciding, this is making a decision to bring peace and harmony and balance back to their life. Letting go of the overwhelming, maybe it's overwhelming fear, overwhelming illusion perhaps. Somebody has, is deciding to break free, seriously, break free of their anxieties and their fear and evolve to allow. It's like the time is now to take the lead, to take charge, to, you know, take control of a situation. I feel like we have somebody here that is has been working really hard to bring organization and stability back to their lives. And it's like now they're ready. Now they're ready to come together. Now they're ready to evolve. Now they're ready to, you know, receive the blessing. This is a blessing. A blessing is coming after some serious conflict. There's been some conflict. There's been overwhelming anxiety. There's been a lot of fears. There's been a financial distress. There's been pain. And it's like this person has been really thinking about, you know, letting somebody in or letting somebody help them. And it's like now I believe that, you know, now they're ready. Somebody is ready. Hmm. Somebody has been clinging to control, not seeing the purpose. Okay, the ten of this is the wheel of fortune, another ten, but it's reversed. This is a card of purpose. This is a card of purpose. So we have this contradiction here. It's like somebody didn't realize the purpose of the transition, the purpose of the the ending, the purpose of the pain, and it feels like now they may perhaps they realize the purpose. There was a purpose why this happened. So I feel like we have somebody here that has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. They have. And it's like now they're making a decision to bring balance back to their life. Somebody's been through a, a, a run of bad luck, and I think that they've been through this run of bad luck because, you know, for one, you know, karma plays a part. For two, they've made some poor decisions in the past, and now, you know, they're paying for them. And now they're, and, and if it looks like they've worked really hard to recover from this painful situation, it's like now I feel like now they're ready, whoever this is, they're ready to come together. They're ready to take the lead. Somebody lost their drive and their ambition and their passion and their ability to take action because of the pain that they're endured. You know, it's like they, 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 they lost their, you know, ambition. But I think, I think now, now, we, now this is a change. This is a transition taking back control of my life, taking back control and going after this golden opportunity. So we definitely have a huge ending here with all these tens. We have four tens now. The worst is over. Somebody was unable to take action because of the predicament that they were in. Some sort of family predicament, money predicament, home predicament, whatever it is, whatever, however it resonates with you. Somebody was unable to uh, let, to come together with another person or to let another person in because of their instability, their insecurity, their lack of structure at home or their lack of financial, whatever it is. Somebody's been through a huge mess and, and it's like now they... They have worked so hard to recover. Perhaps the time is now to step outside of their comfort zone. Somebody is wanting to let go of the emptiness that they've held on to. And I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take the lead. Seriously, we have somebody here that is about to, you know, they've been working hard to remove the obstacles that they have created or that the situation has created. And it's like now they're ready. The time is now. The time is now for to come together. 
somebody is deciding that it's time to step outside of my comfort zone and release the barriers, let down their barriers, let down their guard, let somebody in. So I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel like we have somebody here that is seeing a golden opportunity and they're going for it after going through a serious, like, it's almost like an overwhelming, painful situation. And I feel like somebody's just deciding to, like, or they've made it, they've worked hard. They didn't just decide, they worked hard to recover. There's a lot of hard work here. Somebody's put in a lot of effort to bring structure and organization back to the dynamic, back to the home, back to the family, back to the whole situation. And it's like now, now there, it's like that decision is being made to come together with somebody. This has come together. This is allow. This is a blessing. Bring balance back. Somebody's realizing the purpose, taking back control, absolutely. Somebody is taking back control, breaking free, breaking, like I said, somebody is breaking free from that old mentality, that old struggle. The worst is over. So we do have somebody here that is about to take control of a situation and basically start over. They couldn't take action because they were unstable. But I think now they have, you know, regained, they've regained their structure, you know. They've worked really hard to get where they're at. It's like now they're ready. They're ready to come together. So I don't know who this reading is for, but I think this per there's been a delay, and here we are. So I don't know. I don't know who this reading is for. Somebody is allowing a situation to end. It's like I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. There's been a time of healing. I think there's been a lot of healing. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom here with that Emperor card. Wisdom through suffering. Seriously, wisdom through, you know, needing to be that warrior, right? So I think that, you know, whatever has been hidden is about to come to light. We have this person over here that's been growing really, 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 really weary really weary. We have this person who's just like, you know, I'm ready to give up. Maybe this person has given up. Because, you know, there's something that's hidden here. There's, there's something that's going on and this person doesn't know what's going on. So it's like, eh. Uh, it's painful. It's painful. It is painful. So there's 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 pain. There's pain here, and you know I think somebody is deciding that it's time to take back control of my life. Whoever it is, fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. That's where somebody's been. Because this is taking time. Somebody has been taking time. Somebody's been taking time to evolve, to heal from this painful whatever it was. And that's why they couldn't take action. Sometimes the mist and the fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life big life's big questions can emerge. 
The secret, the secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. And I think somebody's inner voice has told them that it's time to make a decision. This is very decisive. And these are just, this is, these two, somebody is making a decision to, seriously, to take back control. To let the guard down. So I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel like we have a, an opportunity for two people to come together. There's been a lot of patience. This is patience. There's been a lot of patience that has been needed. And I feel like there's an opportunity. I mean, you see how far away they are. There's, there's definitely a distance because there's been a lot of struggle in the middle. There's been a lot of strife in between this connection, okay? There's been... Um, There's been pain, and there's been obstacles in the way. But I feel as though these two people are going to come together. I don't know who this reading is for. I hope it's for you. If that's if you want it, I don't know. These two people are going to come together. Perhaps the time is now. I don't know if this reading is for you. Good luck.